Folks in the house. Get you going in the morning here. A little fallout, boys. Um, I am having my Jim Beam coffee. And uh, guys, like, yeah, am I going to be getting... This is not bad. This is, I am going to be going and getting some more of this. Um, way it is, it's a buck twenty-five, and this is four ounces, and for a pound of coffee, for five five bucks, and it 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 holds its own. Uh, I made uh, set up the percolator to have two cups, and uh, I'm more or less finishing it up. Uh, it's. Thing is, it isn't too strong. I mean, where it's over the top, like it tastes like a cup of mud. And um, I'd, I'd say it holds its own. Um, I'm enjoying it. And I usually put a little sugar in, um, like a half teaspoon. But I, I decide let's try it just uh, without any uh, sugar. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. Sit, sip uh, coffee. Only thing is, I didn't have anything to like donuts or anything for it, so <laughs> kind of like yeah. So the Jim Beam coffee has passed the test of uh, not bad. I'm leaning towards once that's out, I'm not gonna be able to find it. So hopefully they still have some. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna after I do this video, I'm gonna run over there and pick some up and uh, stock up, and I'm gonna give my ma uh, some of my coffee that I bought. And, um, that I bought when it was on sale, so she gets some coffee on her end of the deal, so not bad. And uh, so um, I got a kick out of this is I went onto YouTube and my videos searching wise, it's a pain in the ass kind of thing because of the, you almost have to do the search a certain way. I did a search UWM basketball and I did, uh, the, I did it for time and I did last week. I was fifth on UWM basketball, and I got a kick out of it. Is um, turn this here, turn that off. Um, I just laughed. It's like it just shows UWM basketball just does not have the recognition, or people just don't know that it's out there. And um, they're thirteen and six. And right now, uh, they're riding on a, a B.J. Freeman. Um, he has been averaging, I guess, 20-some points the last three or four games. Um, they still got... It's a team that it goes. Um, they, I'm going to say they play sloppy. And I think they cause other teams to play sloppy. And that's what, uh, because the other night they won against Robert Morris. It's a close game. And Robert Morris was getting offensive rebounds throughout the night. I They were up to 12. And it was a point where it's like, okay, this is crazy. He can't. And they won. I don't know how you win when the other team has, I mean, that, it was kind of crazy. And the, other, the night before, uh, one of their other ones, they had 22 turnovers. And if you're winning a game with 22 turnovers, that other team is having a rough night. I mean, because that's hard to do, 22 turnovers to win a, a basketball game. But, yeah, they're uh, right now B.J. Freeman is uh, the player for them. Um, they're starting to get some talk in Milwaukee uh, with uh, the journal, I think, is set, set something up where they put up uh, – some kind of post that you can click on that hasn't been there for years. And it's like, wow, it just <laughs> tells you, it's like you really do have to start winning uh, to be recognized, which is sad. Um, you should have a, a, a bandwagon. And I, I, that's why I'm kind of, you know, getting on the bandwagon when it starts with this new coach. He seems to have uh, the players uh, believing in the system. Excuse me. And it's kind of nice. Um, UW women's basketball, they're 7-10. and 10. Uh, They're going off of Ken Kendall Need. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, they're 7-10, and 10, but I will say this. Their schedule, their non-conference schedule is, 
I mean, I think uh, pretty good. Um, hopefully they can keep going in the Horizon League. Uh, so she's top scorer. And I think that's something, you know, people talk about the women's basketball thing and not getting support. It would be nice to see Milwaukee support their, uh, the women's basketball. Um, I think it's something that, you know, again, uh, the only thing is it's at the Klatchy Center. I'm not a big fan of the Klatchy Center in regards to, um, I think there's high schools that have better uh, gymnasiums, I guess you want to say. Not be it's just the way it is. It, well, UWM doesn't just have that, you know, cheers fifty million dollars for a hell of it kind of thing for their sports. Um, it would be cool if it, they did, uh, and that's where my fan support has to come into play. Um, so that's my uh, UWM uh, sports. Uh, Jim Beam coffee again. I, I, I'm enjoying the coffee. It uh, surprised me. I was like. I was like, oh, God, I told people about this, and it's going to be a joke. And it has a nice aroma, uh, apartment smelling uh, like coffee, and uh, it's good. Okay, now my three movies. Uh, I think I may have brought one of these up already. I was kind of looking for it, so I'm going to see if anybody um, remembers this, if you're watching this video. Lava Lantua. Lan yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. Tarantula, but with lava. And uh, if Steven uh, Gutenberg from Police Academy, and um, some of the Police Academy people are in this movie. And I think I did talk about I just couldn't find it. I've done so many me movies, people, I apologize. But I wouldn't mind if somebody said, yes, you did mention this or you did not. That would be great. You could make a comment for that. Um, basically... A volcano erupts and causes uh, spiders to mutate. Um, it's a horror comedy. It, 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 it's one of those Midnight Madness movies. Um, so throw it out there. Just something that, you know, I got to start doing that is getting a Midnight Madness kind of thing going. May do that maybe upcoming. Uh, Broken City 2013. Mark Wahlberg. Um, basically, uh a former cop becomes a private investigator and has to do some investigating for the mayor and uh, storyline is decent. Um, kind of has a dandying. Um, don't want to give too much away. Uh, Furious 2017. This one is a surprise movie um, based on the 13th century when the Mongols were invading Eastern Europe and uh, go up against Russians. And a uh, decent storyline, kind of has that epic battle kind of thing to it. Uh, so it holds its own. So uh, all three movies are decent. Uh, like I say, Lava, Antula, like I say, I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, to, uh, a horror comedy. I mean, like I say, it isn't over the top. It's a cheesy movie. Um, <laughs> so that is that. Uh, what else? That is going to be, I think, my video. Um, yes, we're going to leave it at that. Have a good one, everybody.